Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video. And today I'm actually going to show you guys how you're going to get DeadOps Arcade 2 right now. So basically all you got to do is go to this computer in the uh, safe house um, for the campaign, and if you go on, go to the very left where your emblems are, and right when you're on the emblem, you go press up on your uh, pretty much joystick and press A or X depending on what console you're on and then you can see Dead Ops Arcade 2 so you just go up then press the select button and then you can see Dead Ops Arcade and then press A or X again and you can start playing it so yeah you guys are going to be seeing a lot of gameplay of Dead Ops Arcade because this actually video this gameplay footage is actually the farthest I've ever been in Dead Ops Arcade so far and yeah, so that's pretty cool. But if you guys, guys don't know what Dead Ops Arcade is, you're probably thinking Dead Ops Arcade 2, then what's where is Dead Ops Arcade 1? I've never heard of that. Well, for you people who've been living under a rock, Dead Ops Arcade 1, the first Dead Ops Arcade, was actually in Call of Duty Black Ops all the way back in Call of Duty Black Ops, the first Black Ops game. And to unlock that, you actually had to get out of your chair in that game. And in the main menu, and then you go up to the computer, and then you have to like type in some type of code, which I can't, I don't know what the code was. And then you unlock Devs Arcade. There you go. And then you can start playing it with uh, you and some three other friends. And uh, this is the, pretty much the continuation of that uh, of Dead Ops Arcade, of course, because it's called Dead Ops Arcade 2. And Dead Ops Arcade 2, it's a lot different actually. They've added some new kind of features into it. Um, for one thing, there's of course there's different areas you can explore. Um, second thing is that you can actually go into first person yes you can go into first person uh, there's actually something you have to collect up it's kind of like a squarish thing with like i think it has a king space on it it's kind of like a wild card like a multiplayer wild card and uh if you pick that um kind of power up up you actually can go into first person as you guys can see that this is kind of i don't know what kind of angle you call this but this isn't this isn't third person or e i don't it's not called third person but i'm not sure what kind of what kind of form this is but if you do pick up that square um you can go into first person and it looks really really cool it's pretty awesome seeing it in first person but it's also kind of harder too because you don't see all the zombies around you so that's kind of so kind of it's kind of hard at the same time but going to first person looks pretty cool especially when you have like a minigun or a flamethrower on and you can just like just kill zombies i don't know it's just so fun but yeah um, what do I think of uh, Dead Ops Arcade? Um, it's actually pretty good. I think I'm actually, I, you know, back in when Black Ops Two came out, I remember this. Uh, I actually thought they're gonna have a, a second Dead Ops Arcade, but they never brought it into Dead. They never brought Dead Ops Arcade into Black Ops Two, so they brought it into Black Ops Three, which I thought's pretty cool. Um, another thing that's kind of new about uh, Dead Ops Arcade is that they kind of like enhance some of the weapons. Um, like, they're the same weapons that have been used in the previous Dead Ops Arcade, they're just, like, the futuristic kind, so, like, the, uh, the, in the first Dead Ops Arcade, um, you could, uh, get a weapon that was the China Lake, and you can just, it's, like, pretty much a grenade launcher, and you just keep shooting it, that shoots a bunch of grenades. In this one, it's actually the War Machine, and, uh, also there's, um, oh, what's it called, um... Oh, there's some, like, basically kind of weapons like that back in the Black Ops, uh, Dead Ops Arcade. Uh, they have those same weapons in Dead Ops Arcade 2, only they're like the futuristic versions of those weapons. That's basically what they are, and they do have some other things. They have, uh, they, I think they, I don't know if the Red Skulls, like, you can collect these Red Skulls which make you have better firepower. I don't know if that was in the first Dead Ops Arcade or not, I can't remember. Um, but they have, uh... A magnet. I don't know if that was in the first one either. There's a lot. I just I, I played this quite a bit lately, and uh, you can grab a magnet, and what that magnet does is that all the treasure that's around you like is gets sucked into you, which I think is pretty cool. Um, they don't have creepy crawlers though. If you guys remember back in the first Dead Ops Arcade, uh, when you got into like kind of the temple jungle area, um, you have to fight a bunch of these creepy crawlers, which are basically the Nova Six zombies, and I don't think they have those in this one, and so far that I've gone through, they, I don't think they do. Um, but, like, when you get to the uh, the jungle temple area in this one, though, you have to fight, like, these bird men, like, the bird zombies or whatever. Like, you see a bunch of these birds flying everywhere, then they come together and, like, form this, like, one black, red-eyed zombie, and, the, and it comes, shirts coming after you. I, I just thought that was kind of really, really weird. Um, but, yeah, right here you guys can see that I'm actually in first person and it looks so cool and you're actually using the BRM uh, light machine gun as your kind of your main weapon and you don't have to reload either so you just keep shooting and just 
it's, just, it's awesome. I just, I think, I just think that first person is just so cool. And then, of course, later on, you guys will probably see me going first person again, like using a flamethrower or maybe I think I used a war machine. I'm not sure. Um, but, but yeah, that's also really cool. Of course, uh, once you like enter the teleporter or enter like a new area in first person, you'll automatically go back to like this kind of view. And uh, so yeah, but yeah. Um, Dead Ops Arcade. Um, I'm glad that it's back. Um, so yeah, if you guys can, uh, just to kind of remember that to get Dead Ops Arcade 2, you just go to the safe house in the campaign, go up to that computer, go to the very left, like make sure your cursor is like on your emblem thing, and then go up and then press A, and you can like find that's how you kind of figure this out. Um, then there's these zombies, which is kind of weird. Like these zombies, uh, I don't know what the heck they were. I know if you touched them, like yeah, they would explode like that. But I mean, I, I remember the. I, th I just thought that was weird. Um, no, actually, what they have, I, wa I want to say they're barrels, but, like, what they do is they kind of suck up, like, the treasure that's around. Like, all the treasure goes towards, like, those type of things. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, there's some features added to Dead Ops Arcade 2 that are just, like, weird, and it, like, really, really confuses me. Um, but what do you guys think of Black Ops 3 so far? I think it's a fantastic game. I can't stop playing it. I'm... I'm so addicted to it right now. Like before Black Ops 3 came out, I started playing Destiny like nonstop because I thought that game was addic addicting. Now that this game comes out, I'm like, no, I'm like just like no Destiny, just no. I I, I won't even touch Destiny now. Um, but Black Ops 3, um, it's a very good game. I think that, like zombies uh, campaigns pretty good. Um, the one thing I will say that I am really frustrated with, which I'm sure they'll fix in the later patch coming soon. Hopefully it'll be soon. Um, is that I keep saying I get disconnected, like, it says, like, I'm not online or whatever, like, I'll be in the main menu of zombies or multiplayer, and then all of a sudden this thing will pop up saying, oh, you are offline, or you can't connect to server or whatever, it's like, what? How am I not connected? Then you have to press play online, and then it connects to it, like, right away, and it doesn't make any sense why it keeps disconnecting from that, and another thing is, is that when I try to invite someone to my party that I want to play with, like, my friends, or if they trying to invite me, um, they like it, it says that they can't invite me for some reason. I don't know, or I can't invite them, or something like that. I think there's some like bugs in here that really kind of make me mad. And you know, one thing for sure, like uh, this just last night at the time of making this video, um, I I want I got kind of tired of playing zombies in multiplayer all day. I'm like, okay, I might as well play a little bit of the campaign, right? And when I press resume story, like right when the cutscene started, like it, it, my game froze and it made that really loud, annoying sound, and my game crashed. And I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" And like that just happens sometimes, and it just, oh, just those bug crashes just really get me, and they, and I have to keep restarting my game. And it's just, just these like these like there are quite a bit of bugs in the game right now that I don't like that are really annoying. Um, it was this one annoying uh, kind of. Uh, it was annoying, um, more, like annoying kind of glitch. Um, I, I, it only happened to me once. I don't know if this was actually in the game, or it was actually a part of my controller. Because I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like Xbox controllers can be really stupid. Sometimes, like right now, I was supposed to be charging it, but for some reason the stupid light won't pop up. So I guess I'm not charging my controller. Um, but anyway, what happened was I wanted to play free run, um, which is basically uh, you just run, you just free run, and you try and beat your best time. Anyway, I wanted to try that out, and when I first did it, I couldn't jump or sprint, and I'm like, what the heck? That doesn't make any sense. I've seen gameplay of this. People jump and sprint all the time, and so I just went forward and started moving. I'm like, okay, something's not right here. I have to, I'm like, there's like this one part where I have to jump in order to get to the other side, and I'm like, okay, something's not right here. I, I have to jump. I don't know why I can't jump, so I back out of that. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just go play some zombies. So I started playing Shadows of Evil, and I couldn't sprint or jump either, so I'm like, okay, something's not right here. So I basically... Turned off my controller, turned it back on, then I just, just to be sure, I just quit out of the game and went back in, and then it didn't happen ever again after that, so, I, I don't know, that was kind of odd, I, I don't know if that was part of the game or just my controller, but, if you guys remember back when Advanced Warfare first came out, oh man, there were a lot of bugs and glitches, there were a lot, there were camo glitches, I remember specifically there were camo glitches, like, I would use, like, the BAL-27, and for some reason, I would already get diamond camo unlocked for it when I've only unlocked two other camos for that weapon. And I don't know how I unlocked diamond for it. It didn't make any sense at all. So that was there was a glitch there when the when Advanced Warfare first came out. And then there was another one with the combat record where like if you were gonna play Search and Destroy, uh, for some reason like every time you lose a round, that would count as losing a game in your combat record, which totally screwed people over's uh, like win lose ratio. 
And I don't know about their KD either. I'm not sure if their KD got screwed up either. I think KD might have got screwed up as well. Um, I don't know. Advanced Warfare did have a lot of glitches when it first came out. I remember that specifically. Um, but even though there may still be glitches in Black Ops 3 and right now at the moment, uh, but they're not that bad. They're just like... They're not like in-game glitches other than like the not moving thing. I think the not moving thing might have been my controller, but, which I hope not because I don't want to have to get a new controller. Um, but anyway, like I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sure what the deal is with like these glitches that make no sense. Especially like the um, <coughs> getting disconnected from uh, from online on the game doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know how, I don't know, I don't understand how that happens. It doesn't really make any sense to me. Um... But another thing I kind of want to talk about is uh, kind of multiplayer. Now, when I first played the beta, I thought you ranked up pretty, re relatively fast, and there weren't any challenges in it either. So I kind of thought to myself, well, you know, there's also gonna, when the full game comes out, there's going to be a crap ton of multiplayer challenges. So I'm thinking to myself, man, multiplayer is going to be really easy to rank up. It's actually not that easy to rank up. I'm not sure how they managed to do it, but um, it's it's actually a little bit hard to rank up in multiplayer, which is kind of a good thing, but it's also kind of a bad thing. It's a bad thing because it's going to take me a lot longer to reach uh, Master Prestige, um, but it's also a good thing because it makes me want to play the game more, and I guess I'll have more time playing it, so that's kind of how I think of it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like right here you guys are seeing me shred a bunch of zombies um, with the, with the uh, what's it called, the minigun. I guess that's what the minigun's going to look like in this game. That's kind of like the futuristic minigun. I don't know if that's going to look like that in... Uh, well, you can't don't really have it much, but then there's a KRM shotgun that just goes ham, just sprays people. It just well, that just looks so cool. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but uh, what else? Uh, zombies. Uh, Shadows of Evil. Shadows of Evil. I'm just gonna say this right now, guys. It is a hard map. Shadows of Evil is a very, very hard map. So, yeah. Um, that map. I there's something about it. I think the one thing that makes it really hard is it's very close quarters. It's a very close quarters map. It's very hard to train zombies. I've been able to do it like right outside that one, uh, that one like um, that one show area, like where you have to do a ritual or something. Yeah, like out when there's, there's a bunch of cars. There's a bunch of cars everywhere, and I, I mean, I was able to train there, but sometimes, but I did, I did eventually die there too. So. Um, but yeah, uh, Shadows of Evil, very, very, we it's a very interesting, I think it's a very good map, a uh, very good standard map, I think, I can't wait to play the DLC, and the map, the giant, I had, I had to have seasons pass, so I was able to get the giant map, and that map's pretty good too, um, but I've played Durries so many times, I already, I've played, it's, I'm kind of like burnt out of it, so I don't, so like, to me, the giant, the move, the, the movie, <laughs> the the map uh, the giants um it's kind of more of a solo map that I like to play every once in a while and it's kind of a good way to rank up too especially if you want to pack a punch easily because Shadows of Evil is hard to pack a punch I mean I tried doing that just not too long ago and boom uh, that did not go so well so I mean yeah uh, I think the uh, giant map is a very good standard map to come with the game I kind of wish it was kind of like Black Ops 2 where not only did we have transit, um, but they also had three other maps so that you could like play individually, and then they had grief mode, which kind of added more variety to zombies. Then, and then with Shadows of Evil, you just have Shadows of Evil. There's no other like different type of game mode for zombies. It's just Shadows of Evil for standard so far. And then for me, I got the giant, um, but not everyone has enough money to get seasons pass and buy the giant. Um, but yeah, I can't wait some more uh, Zombies DLC maps to come out. Can't wait to rank up in it because I think the I think what they did with Zombies was a brilliant idea. Not only did they add a progression system by just ranking up in Zombies, but they also add like Dr. Monty's like uh, factory where you can get more gumballs and you can have like different classes for gumballs and I don't know. It's it's amazing. Then you can customize your um, weapons and level them up and add paint shop to them and I don't know I think zombies is absolutely brilliant what they did with it I love it so much I think I've been playing zombies a lot more than I've been playing multiplayer that's probably why I'm only like at level 23 right now but yeah this is pretty much it for the video guys hopefully you all enjoyed I did kind of like um, this video was mainly about how to get devs arcade but then I kind of just want to do a commentary after it because uh, I just, I love doing commentary, so like right now I'm in the raps ball thing, and I'm just like shredding a bunch of zombies, I didn't even know this was something you could get in, in Dead Ops Arcade, that is just so cool, just running over zombies with this blood, spilling everywhere, oh my god, it was, it was just awesome, but yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a rating, and I shall see you guys next time.